A man bought a photo at a flea market for two bucks. He couldn't imagine he would become a millionaire. Hello friends! One way or another, each of us has our favorite hobby that pleases the soul and the eye and makes the heart beat faster. For some, it can be fishing or sports, for others, traveling, and someone, like our today's hero for example, loves to collect all kinds of trash and take it all to his house. Randy Keharu, one of the residents of the city of Fresno on the western side of the USA, was always interested in collecting old things, but unfortunately, his hobby was never encouraged by his wife. When he once again brought old things to his home, they even had a fight after which Randy made a promise that he would never bring anything else home. Most likely, if he had then listened to his wife, then this story wouldn't have happened. It all began when Randy drove past a red brick building with a sign, Ferran's Crazy Antique Shop. Randy remembered his promise, but decided to drop by. He wasn't going to buy anything, just walk around and walk, as he thought to himself. After a few minutes spent in this small shop among a huge number of old books, radio receivers, and old records, our hero had already gone to the exit when suddenly, he noticed a stranger who was pulling large boxes out of his pickup truck. Randy quickly realized that the stranger had brought all this to hand over to the store, and therefore asked to choose some little thing for himself. After given consent to choose whatever he wanted from the stranger who needed to finally clean the attic, our hero, having remembered his trouble with his wife, decided to choose three old tintypes of the late 19th century. They took up little space and the wife would not notice anything, although as the man himself later said, they were many interesting things and they were all oversized, so he did not pick them up. And who knows what else was there and how much it could have cost him. Three photos were only two bucks, actually 67 cents, since the seller was originally going to give them away for free, but Randy insisted on paying him at least something. Having returned home in a happy mood, the man did not say anything about the purchase, simply placing the photos in a secluded place. Later, he could not calm down and fall asleep throughout all night. Something he saw in one of the old photographs would not leave him alone. He could not remember the next day. The man took a magnifying glass and decided to look at the same photo again. At first glance, it seems like nothing was unusual, except that the events on the photograph were almost 140 years ago. There were some kind of gentlemen and yes, all were dressed in the latest fashion in the late 19th century, busy with some most likely incredible important affairs. But his gaze was on one of the men playing croquet with a creepy face. The collector took the photo and went to one of his acquaintances, who was also a historian. As Randy himself said, I didn't even hope to find something valuable on it. It was just interesting to know where I could have seen this face before. But what happened next shocked the historian and our hero. As it turned out, he acquired a few very rare photographs of one of the most famous personalities of the American Wild West, nicknamed Billy the Kid. Note that the tintype is an early technology of photographic images on tin plates, often 7 by 12 centimeters in size. Billy the Kid was among the most dangerous people in the Wild West. He escaped numerous imprisonments by committing many crimes and escapes, all while he was only 21 years old. Newspaper reporters said that he was a good-looking young man with blue eyes. He was quite sociable and funny, played musical instruments, and had animal-like instincts. But during his life, the young bandit was barely known. He became a sensation only a year after his death when Sheriff Pat Garrett published a biography called The Authentic Life of Billy the Kid, after which he became a symbol of the Wild West. Many legends say that he was an elusive criminal. Others admire his ability to avoid punishment. But whatever it was, everyone agrees that this 21-year-old man kept at bay the whole Wild West, and the crime legend of the 19th century even made it into a Hollywood movie called The Kid in 2018. In 2010, after more than 120 years, the administration of the state of New Mexico even decided to declare him innocent. Firstly, the character seems to be very popular, and a decent amount of time has passed, and secondly, it turns out that Billy had once made a deal with the investigation group, and in exchange for a confession of robberies, he should have received freedom. But the head of New Mexico did not keep his word, he just lied to a cold-blooded murderer. But the last one Billy was mentioned at the beginning of 2011 because it was considered that the only image of Billy the Kid was acquired by the collector William Koch for $2.3 million. On this namely the only photo. 
The criminal was standing with a revolver in his belt and a wheel in his left hand. At the time of sale, the picture was ranked fourth in the ranking of the most expensive photos ever sold. But then no one could have imagined that there was one old photo where the little boy was captured together with his gang members calmly playing croquet. In the summer of 1878, as soon as Randy realized that in front of him was a real rarity, he decided to reach out to researchers. American experts from the Independent Institute checked the find and concluded that the photo is indeed a picture of Billy the Kid, and it was taken in the summer of 1878. Its estimated price is about $5 million, but this number can be a lot bigger if the photo is sold through an auction. Of course, after the experts confirmed the authenticity of the photo, our collector told his wife about his successful purchase. Initially, she thought that maybe he was kidding, but when she understood the importance of that, she apologized for not believing her husband. As for our hero, most likely he is going to sell the photo at an auction and give part of the money to the seller from whom he acquired such a rare thing, and perhaps he already sold it. After local journalists learned about this, Randy and his wife had to hide all details of their life, fearing that such a valuable thing could attract people with ill intents. But no matter how it was, this story shows all of us that we probably should not prohibit hobbies of our loved ones. After all, as you can see, you can become a millionaire in one day. That's all for today. Write your comments and tell us what are the most valuable finds you have in your collection. Also, like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon.